This is the most explosive offense in Madden 23. It has unstoppable glitch routes. One play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! That are so explosive you can score from anywhere on the field. Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, oh my god! Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video on offense, I'll be using my Buffalo Bills ebook as this is easily one of my favorite playbooks to use in Madden 23 right now. I'm also going to be using a new team in the New England Patriots. And this is because a lot of you were asking me to use a new team in the comments. So in last week's video, I asked you guys which team you wanted me to use next. And this team got the most votes. I'm going to keep this trend going. So let me know in the comments section what team you guys want me to use next week. As I'll also show you guys what adjustments I make to the depth chart and stuff like that. Before I get into the gameplay though, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. It really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or in the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. Speed is all that matters in Madden, so when I set up my depth chart, I put Pierre Strong at fullback for kick returns because of his 92 speed. At wide receiver, I win all speed with this game, with Parker at the 1, Tyquan Thornton at the 2, and cornerback Marcus Jones at the 3 who is a zero overall rated receiver. John U. Smith is going to be my tight end, and on defense, all I really changed was my secondary, as the Patriots have a lot of safeties that have better man coverage ratings than their cornerbacks. So I put their backup safeties in, like Kyle Duggar and Jabril Peppers, to start at safety, and made Devin McCourty and Adrian Phillips my second and third cornerbacks, with Marcus Jones again the fourth cornerback just for blitzing. The offense that I'll be using today is out of my Bills Gun Normal Wild off Close, which is an offense that I've made several videos about in the past, and I've also recently made a full 23 minute breakdown about on my second channel. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, I will have links in the description, in the comment section, and at the end of the video, so stick around for that. For my audible plays, I will have the escape play first, as it is probably my most used play, and can be a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses, like cover two man and zone, cover four regular and match, and also cover three in multiple ways. I keep the inside zone as my only run play. My third play I use is the Y sale, as this play can only be found in the Bills, as one of the reasons this offense is so good, as it can also be a one play touchdown against defenses like cover two and cover four but in a completely different way than the escape play and the last play i have is the double slant which is one of my new favorite plays this play is also a one play touchdown against man zero and man cover one and has another setup for a cover two and cover three one play touchdown my fifth play is the mesh spot as this play is best for dinking and dunking but also has a one play touchdown against cover two zone which i'll show you guys in a bit on the first drive though i hit the drag route to the tight end to get a few yards and then the running back underneath to get close to the first before trying to set up a one play touchdown on third and short. Woo! I see that he's running the same cover two blitz that I put out last year, so I try to set up the one play touchdown once again. You dirty mother my opponent's offense is even less creative as this is one of the cheesiest and most annoying players I've ever played in my life as he is only going to run the RPO reflat wheel glitch pretty much the entire game. If you don't know this play, I've already made several videos about it as this play was banned from use in EA tournaments and EA himself said that they patched this play several months ago. That's a fucking lie! I didn't realize the play at first as this play completely glitches out the man coverage cornerback covering the tight end. What? So he hurries me up so that I can't see the play or try to make adjustments to get a quick and easy score before I even know what hits me. And I see that he is also the type of player that will go for two points all game as well. Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. So since I know he is running my 4-3 even cover 2 blitz setup from last year, I also know where it is weakest. For this blitz to work, he has to hover the center gap pre-snap with his user before dropping back into coverage, which makes it really hard to drop back quick enough to cover between these two safeties. So I start the drive out with the Y sail play, as all I have to do is motion over this B route here, put the X route and Y routes on fades, and my opponent has very little chance of getting back in time to stop this route. 
I don't want to overuse this play too early because I don't want him to start making adjustments for it. So I switch to the mesh play once again so that I can attack outside. To set up this one play touchdown, all you have to do is motion out the running back and put the tight end on a streak to hold the safety. Then put the B route and the flat route to hold the cornerback down and the running back will get open right over the top of him. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Back on defense, I am still using cover two man as it is still my favorite defense and I'm not ready to give up on it yet after just one drive, but I am getting close as he gets another big play. So I switch over to the cover four match only to see that it changes nothing. I then switch to man zero blitz and that didn't change anything as he uses the exact same glitch route to get down to the one. Once here though, with deep passing no longer an option, I decide to stack against the run with my favorite goal line defense of 60 out jacks as the cloud flat should help to stop this route outside. And on the very first play, we finally get a stop. How about new? He then tries to spread me out with an empty backfield look from a different formation. And this is my chance as I know he will probably try to throw it to Kelsey like everyone does who plays with the Chiefs. That's right. That's right. Back on offense, cover two is not a good run defense, so I try to run the ball in the first play before going right back to the mesh play as I hit the running back for another big play down the sideline. I haven't used the Y sail play for a while, so I go back to that setup on the next play, and you can see he has no chance to sprint back and stop this route. See ya! As we take the lead. Back on defense, I try out some new zone coverages, but nothing has changed as this play beats man and zone alike. I come out in a zone blitz, and he just gashes me on the ground, so I switch over to cover two invert, only to have no success at all before going back to cover four and finally seeing him hit a different receiver to get down to the two yard line. From here, I expect him to run the ball this time since passing didn't work before. Nope. Before he goes back to the tight end. <laughs> oh no, you don't. And we get to stop at the one yard line again. From here, we go back to the 60 jacks once again as this defense seemed perfect to stop this play as nothing is open and he has to throw it away he decides to go for it on fourth down i use the exact same defense only this time he forces the throw <laughs> Got he. as the only defense that stops this is apparently the goal line but now i'm stuck on the one yard line against this insane blitz and i can't even get the ball off narrowly avoiding the sack on three straight plays before deciding to punt it away and play it safe i get a good punt though before he just goes right back to abusing that glitch play we slow it down enough to get him to switch plays every once in a while, but every play he uses feels like a glitch at this point, as he still goes right down the field with little resistance to take the lead back. I'm so sick of these people! Before going for two once again. You, you know! Oh. So now with under a minute left, I have to score fast. I get sacked on the first play before I go right back to the Y sale play, knowing that he would either have to change defenses or sacrifice the blitz to stop it. He does neither, so it doesn't really matter that he knows where the ball's going. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. After two drives, I finally figure out that the tight end on the running back side is the route that is getting open, so I start to make some new adjustments to stop it, only to see him hit another receiver in the area every time I run zone. Something is wrong with you people! I figure out that if I move my cornerback way outside pre-snap, then my cornerback is in a much better position to make a play on the ball, forcing him to finally run a different play that I am totally unprepared for before he runs it again to take the lead back. So now down four with him getting the ball back after half, I have to score here. I take a shot on the first play with the Y sale. Nope. Only to see that he is now running a prevent style cover two man. So with eight seconds left, I call the escape play. As this is a play that he hasn't seen yet, and this can score versus this defense. All you have to do to set this play up is put the tight end on a streak. And since the threat has always come from the other side of the field, he uses low with the safety on that side and lets Thornton get right over the top. Psych! <laughs> as we get a clutch touchdown as time expires to give me a three point lead in the half. It doesn't last long though as the tight end on this play is not the only route that is glitchy. I am in no mood. I'm not in the mood to play with anybody. On the ensuing kickoff though, I recently made a video called Six Easy Cheats where I talked about how to get more kickoff return touchdowns by putting a fast running back at the fullback position. He could go all the way. So if you guys wanna see more about how I do this, I will once again have a link in the description at the end of the video. Back on defense, after he glitches me out with the tight end a few more times, I decide I'm going to personally cover this tight end for the rest of the game, no matter what, as I can't find anything that covers it, and he gets down the field before I force him to throw it somewhere else. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Finally! Back on offense, it looks like he changed his flat settings to take away the wheel route deep, so I hit the tight end right over the middle of the next play. I know I could probably just score again, but I decide to start running the ball and taking the play clock to zero every time in the third quarter. Why? Just fuck him. That's why. 
annoying. This dude was probably the most annoying player that I've ever played, so I wanted to do something as annoying as possible back to send him a message. I switch back to a pass play, and on the next play I get sacked, so now I have to pass, which is no problem as he presses his entire defense, using the safety on Thornton, and just letting the streaking tight end just get right past him for an easy touchdown. I don't hear you on defense, he goes back to his favorite play, but he does have a couple other options as they finally force him to switch plays every once in a while before eventually getting back to the one yard line, which has been his Achilles heel most of the game. But I am still expecting the RPO glitch, so I accidentally leave the tight end wide open over the middle of the field. And fuck this guy! Now with under two minutes left, I need to score or kill clock to win this game. He tries to kick to the fullback one more time, only this time it makes it to my return man before I do the exact same thing I did last time. Back on defense, he is now only using his second play, the bench swap, but this play isn't a glitch gotcha, bitch. as we get our fourth interception of the game before this total jackass calls it quits. And even though I won, this was still one of the most frustrating experiences of my life. Fuck you! So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have more videos from this offense as well as my tips video about how to score more on kick returns popping up on screen. So if you guys want to check that out, click the link as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.